Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can use the buttons on the toolbars available in Crystal Reports to quickly and easily gain one-click access to some of the most commonly used functions and commands. Let's review the names of the various toolbars and what functions are available on these toolbars for us to use. While many of the functions listed may not seem familiar to us yet, we will see how to use the functions later. Many toolbars are displayed by default in Crystal Reports, and you can control which toolbars appear and where they're located on screen. In order to turn a toolbar's display on or off, you can select View from the menu bar and then choose the Toolbars command. This will cause the Toolbars dialog box to appear, listing the available toolbars in the list of checkboxes. To display a toolbar, make sure that there is a check in front of the toolbar's name within this list. To hide a toolbar, uncheck the checkbox. When you're finished selecting which toolbars you wish to show or hide, click OK to set the new toolbar display. A faster way to accomplish this same task is to simply right-click with your mouse on any toolbar currently displayed on screen. This will display a pop-up menu of the toolbars which are available. Toolbars displaying a checkmark in front of their names are currently displayed on screen, and you can click on the name of any toolbar displayed in the pop-up menu to toggle its display on or off. When a toolbar is displayed on screen, you can find what the name of the buttons are on that toolbar by simply holding your mouse pointer over the button and resting it there. As long as you don't move it for a moment, it'll display its name in what's called a screen tip. And this can be a useful way to familiarize yourself with the buttons that are available. Toolbars can also be displayed on screen in one of two modes. They can be shown as embedded toolbars or floating toolbars. An embedded toolbar appears as if it were part of the application window and will typically appear embedded above the report design area. So when your toolbar is embedded, you'll see a thin gray handle appear at its left end. You can click and drag the toolbar by this handle to move it around. Notice that you can embed it at the top or at the left side, or at the bottom, or at the right side. You can also choose where it will appear if it's stacked with many others. If you move an embedded toolbar from the sides of the application window and drop it into the middle of the report design area, it then appears as a floating toolbar which displays its name in its own title bar at the top. You can click and drag this floating toolbar by its blue title bar to move it around. You can even click and drag them to the top, bottom, left, or right sides to embed them again. The other option is to simply double click on the blue title bar of a floating toolbar to put it back from where you had just dragged it when it was last embedded. Let's take a look at some of the different buttons and their functions. The first toolbar we have is the standard toolbar. And on the standard toolbar, you'll find the New button, Open, Save, Print, Print Preview, Export, Refresh, Cut, Copy, Paste, Format Painter, Undo and Redo. You'll also find Toggle Group Tree, Field Explorer, Report Explorer, Repository Explorer, Find, Zoom Control, and Help. On the Formatting Toolbar, which we use to make aesthetic enhancements to our report, you'll find the Font Face, Font Size, Increase Font Size and Decrease Font Size, Bold, Italics, Underline, Left Align, Center Align, Right Align, and Justify, Font Color, 
outside borders, suppress, lock format, lock size or position, currency, thousands, percent, increase decimal, and decrease decimal, which currently can't be displayed on our screen because of our screen setting size. We also have the insert toolbar. On the insert toolbar, you'll have insert text object, insert group, insert summary, insert crosstab, insert OLAP grid, insert subreport, insert line, insert box, insert picture, insert chart, and insert map. To the right of that we have the expert toolbar. So we have the database expert, group expert, group sort expert, record sort expert, select expert, selection expert, section expert, formula workshop, OLAP design wizard, template expert, format, insert hyperlink, and highlighting. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.